should worry about uh, groin pain in football because it's, it's um, a frequent injury. You have the acute injuries uh, with short-term consequences and then you have the long-standing groin pain developing gradually, uh, sometimes uh, at this out for, for many months. You have two major uh, ways of getting that injury. That's the acute one during training or, or uh, during uh, match play. Uh, and it's usually a muscle tear. Uh, then you have the overuse type of injury, a gradual onset and uh, normally longer lasting than, than the acute ones. The players uh, at highest risk of developing groin pain are young athletes with high uh, training loads competing on a higher level than they usually do. And then you have uh, a little older players that have been out being injured from another injury coming back then, uh, increasing their load too quickly and getting then subsequently groin pain and sometimes this can be a long-standing problem. The most common causes of groin pain in football is uh, uh, one, a previous injury, second, uh, having had, uh, having increased working loads, training loads, spikes in, in loads, uh, and uh, that is uh, in particular the young athletes. Uh, older athletes uh, have groin problems uh, also when coming back from other injuries and they increase their load and their football actions qu too quickly and tends to get uh, groin problems, uh, usually adductor related problems. I think the first and foremost is that we need to have, uh, we have to train the athletes and, and have a, a, a gradual progression in workload. So if we can control the load and manage the load, that would help uh, reducing the number of groin problems. Uh, sometimes uh, they need to have a better strength of their adductors and core muscles. Uh, and also they need to improve their movement competency uh, while doing football actions, uh, uh, which is very stressful to, to the pelvic and groin area.